again, Laura Alexander here from Evolve Pilates. Um, I'm up in uh, Grange the Main at the Country Club Inn. And um, I'm happy to bring this next class to you. Uh, what we're going to do today is um, some standing work to start, standing Pilates work, that is. And then we'll get down on the mat and do some of the classic exercises, and then we'll throw some exercises in that um, were sort of added a little bit later or might be uh, sort of new takes on old favorites, right? So you don't have to have weights for what we're doing. I just happen to have weights, and they're just two pound weights. Um, and uh, but again, you know, you can grab something that it simulates weights if you like, or again, do um, this with nothing at all. But we're going to do what we call a standing Pilates roll down. So I want you to position yourself, feet hips distance apart, just letting these weights. If you're using anything, just hang in your hands and allow the weight to sort of inform how your body feels. So what you're not going to do is stand in a way where you're just kind of, you know, poorly postured. You want to make sure that you keep yourself engaged front to back. And then all that happens here is you merely drop your chin to your chest and pull your abdominals in and let the arms fall away from you. And exhale to get all the way down to where you're going. And stay here for a few deep breaths. Let's make it two breaths. And coming back up. One vertebra at a time is what we look for in that kind of a movement. Maybe a few shoulder rolls each way here. And then I'm going to show you the next roll down from the side because we're going to add an element. I'm going to bring my feet a little bit wider than they were a moment ago. So it's an inhale again to drop the chin to the chest and start to bend forward. Maybe your hands reach the mat, maybe they don't. At this point, I'm gonna set the weights off here. And then it's a squat. So what I'm not gonna do is this. But what I am gonna do is keep my arms straightish and just bend and bring my tailbone to the mat. That's an inhale. Exhale, scoop the abdominals and straighten the legs. Head hangs on spine. Inhale to come down and exhale right back up. A couple more times here. Last one. And then coming back up into standing. One vertebra at a time against that imaginary wall. And again, a couple shoulder rolls each way. I'm gonna turn back this direction for the third version of the roll down, which is a wider stance still. And you're gonna come back over. It's not unlike the standing saw exercise that I like to teach sometimes in class. And when I'm here, I'm gonna take my right hand and bring it over to my left ankle and extend the other arm up to the ceiling. I'm gonna to try to keep both legs straight and this opposite hip pulled back and just twist my spine as I reach up positionally. Breathe in, breathe out, twist a little deeper. One more time. I'm looking up to the ceiling and then bring that arm down, walk it over the other way and extend this arm up, three breaths again. Last one here. And then coming back, and then coming on up into standing. Let's bring the arms up here and pause. So I'm gonna keep the distance between my feet and I'm gonna grab my right wrist in my other hand and just do a quick side bend stretch, once each direction and come back, other way, and back. Last thing standing, come a little bit closer with the feet. This is a little bit of an extension exercise here. I want you to elevate the left arm up to the ceiling and bring the right hand behind your right leg. So you're gonna turn and to see this from the side, right? What I'm gonna do is slide this hand down towards the back of my knee as I reach again oppositionally, shift my hips forward. It's a nice psoas stretch here. Look down, look down, and slide down, slide down, slide down, and reach, breathe in, and breathe out. And one more time, reaching and sliding, and come down, good. Let's switch to do the other side. So the right arm comes up. Other hand behind the leg, and again, shifting forward and looking down and back. Remember, a lot of oppositional energy 
you're going to feel in a lot of these Pilates stretching at least exercises. And coming down. Good. From here, come on down to the mat. And I'm going to have you sit in this position where you've got your hands tucked behind your knees and you've curled back and picked your feet up off the mat. You can have your feet pointed here or flexed. And so relax through the shoulders. This is just a little pelvic tilt to roll back and to come right back up. Just do that a couple more times. You're scooping the abdominals here and coming back up. And one more. Good. So come on down all the way. Double knee fold is maintained. Stops so that your shoulder blades are just off the mat. Open your knees and your feet into a footwork position and three times. Inhale out, exhale in. And stay in motion, we call it bird on a perch. Bring those feet and knees together, curl the toes away. One more here and then flex feet. Out and in, two and three. And extend the legs out, swing the arms to your side and inhale, two, three, four, five and exhale. 100. You can keep your knees bent if it feels better to you. You can certainly put your head down if it feels better to you. Just be honest with yourself about what you're able to really do without causing any harm or injury. Bring the knees in and let's go ahead and take them to one side and extend the other arm out. This is a nice stretch for the low back, a twist through the hips. And through the middle and go the other way. Turns my head away from you, but it helps in the stretch. And then coming back and up and swing around. I want to take a moment to do another nice, really nice stretch. Um, you're going to extend the right leg out to your side, left leg is bent, and you're going to sit up nice and tall here. Bring your arms up by your ears, and let's turn on the inhale towards that right leg. Exhale to just tilt over. Really contracting the obliques on your right side, but stretching the left. Exhale the air out. Inhale to fill the body up with air, and do that two more times. Exhale, lengthen. And last one here. Grab your foot, pull it a little bit, or the leg. Coming back up and switching to the other side. Inhale and exhale. I keep that foot on my straight leg flexed in order to aid in increasing flexibility through the back of the leg. Last one here. And again, staying forward and holding the stretch. And then sitting up, and if this is available to you with no injuries, you can certainly take a stretch through here. Good, and then coming back. All right, so from here, spinning this way, we're gonna skip rolling like a ball and go straight into the stomach series. You have to do it, it's classic Pilates. So you're gonna curl back, bring your knee in, and it's single leg stretch. Let go and switch. Two, three, four, and five. Both knees come in, reach, and breathe in, squeeze the air out. And staying in motion, the exercise is scissors, reach up and pull, and switch. Last one each way. Now, for a variation on double leg lower lift, crossing one leg behind the other, hands behind the head, inhale, go down, exhale, up. Three of these. Switching, squeeze those legs together, go for super straight leg. Last one here, and then you're naturally in a position to go into your crisscross with those elbows nice and open. Get that opposite shoulder blade up off the mat, Last one each way, 
and lying back and down. Coming out of the sitting, we're going to do a combo of spine stretch and saw. I love the way this feels. It's very zen. So you're going to bring the arms up as if you're about to do spine stretch. Exhale to come forward. And inhale to stack the spine up and come into your saw position. Let's twist to the right and dive. And inhale up to center. Other way. And then come up into position for spine stretch again. Exhale. Open. And let's go the other way. Left. The whole time you are staying anchored through your sits bones to the mat or the floor. Two more versions of these. Slide those arms away across an imaginary tabletop. Sit up and open. Relax those shoulder blades, twist to the right and dive. Up into center and go left. Last set, up, pull the abdominals in, exhale and go forward. Sit and open up and go to the left. And up. So we are going to do corkscrew today and we'll add jackknife. The jackknife is always optional. Legs are up nice and straight and they're together. My feet are pointed. Arms nice and long and I've got this nice support system for my arms. So I twist my legs to the right, lower them down, twist to the left, come back up, reverse, inhale and exhale. This is where the jackknife part comes in. Exhale up, rolling back down, exhale up. And again, entirely optional. And as you roll down out of this next one, just come all the way down. Woo. Plant your feet on the mat, knees are bent. And let's bring the feet and knees hips distance apart and just do some rolling back and forth. For those of you really familiar with mat Pilates, you're going to notice, I've noticed already, that I totally abandoned the mat sequence, and I did that on purpose. We're doing these videos in short little segments, and so I'm just kind of winging it, but these are all classical Pilates exercises. All right, so pelvic tilting kind of loosens up whatever might be seasoning at this point in the game. Good. And then while we're here, might as well do shoulder bridge, and we'll do the length lower lifts with those. So <clears throat> walk the heels a little bit closer in towards your body. And again, hips distance apart with everything. Inhale to literally peel your spine one vertebra at a time up off of the mat. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. And come back down. Lengthen the tailbone. Set it down towards your heels a little closer each time. Up again. And down. And then come up this next time, you'll stay up. And let's bring one leg up with the hips up and level. Lower that leg down and lift. Two, three, four, and five with the hips up. Switch to the other side and down, up. Inhale away, exhale back. Last one here. And then come on up. I've lifted my heels up really pressing out to the front of my ankles and I'm going to press my hands in and lengthen all the way down. Pull the knees in, a hand on each knee to circle the legs around a few times each way. Good. And then from here, come on, in, come on up again into sitting. So come back down onto your elbows. This next exercise is called hip circles. It's a different from corkscrew because unlike corkscrew where we did a lot of twisting through the hips. In this one, we do not. You will bring those elbows back, chest nice and lifted, and legs come up. And so, it's just drawing circles in the air with your legs. So you're gonna go to the right, exhale back up, inhale, and exhale back up. I am not slouching, I'm not losing my upper body. And I encourage you to make this as small as you can make it look nice. One 
more time each way. Good, and let's slide back. Once again, pull the knees in. And then you're gonna keep your head down, arms to your side, and let's just start pedaling a bicycle here. Feels nice to move through the hips in this way. So breathe in for several rotations, and breathe out. And reversing. And both knees come in. Let's roll on up in the sitting. And let's spin around onto all fours. So the exercise here now is leg pull front. Anytime the word front is added to the end of a Pilates exercise, it generally means you're facing the floor or the mat. So we're gonna do leg pull front and leg pull. So hands and knees, extend yourself up into a plank position and make sure you keep your shoulders over your hands. You're gonna lift one leg up, really point the foot and extend the leg out of the hip, drop through the downheel, lift the downheel. While it's lifted, put that other foot down, switch, lower, lift and down. Abdominals very tight. This is just a plank exercise. Last one each way here. Good. Coming down, turning back around. This is leg pull. Extend the legs out in front of you. Hands are behind you, turned whichever way that works for your wrists, really, and maybe even your shoulders if you've got any pre existing issues. So I'm going to kind of turn out like so. I have plenty of pre-existing issues. <laughs> so bringing the hips way up here, you're gonna lift one leg up, lower down. Lift up and down. I just do three on either side. And then when I'm done, planting myself down, reaching forward, taking a nice stretch to once again, open up through the back. From here, the exercise is going to be a side plank into merming. Bring your hand to the mat or your elbow to the mat. It's entirely up to you which version of side plank you do. I'm going to do it on my hand. And it's also optional what you choose to do with your feet and legs. So mine are stacked. And I'm going to make sure that my hand is directly under my shoulder here, right? The down hand, that is, right? And then it's just a nice long line. And you're just going to take some deep breaths here. This is what stacked feet looks like, by the way. And you want your hips stacked too. Head on spine so you're not dropping it. Always know what's going on there. And if you'd like to thread the needle, you'll do that. So just turn your body there, come back, and a little extension, and back, and coming down. Then we move into mermaid. So you just pick up this hand, move it a little closer to you, arm out to the side. Inhale to slide down to the elbow, Exhale to side bend over. Inhale to reach through the center of your body and rotate. The inhale happens through the transition. Exhale into the side. Inhale and exhale. One more. Last one here. And open. So bring everything out to do this all on the other side. So again, find your side plank coming up here. Legs are stacked or not. Arms up and deep breaths. Stacked feet if that feels better to you and I'm gonna move it there for my rotation work. Inhale. And coming out. And little gaze to the ceiling, be safe. And coming back and down and having another seat. Good, and now you're set up for mermaid. Go right into that, inhale and exhale. Come up, reach, reach, and rotate. So what I want you to feel in today's session is so much of that stretching that happens that becomes not really secondary, but almost secondary to the work itself. We're building strength and flexibility in Pilates. Last one here, and rotate. Good, and coming back to the center here. Okay, and so for now, we're gonna come back into position. 
I'm going to do an exercise called teaser. So lying back down all the way on your mat. In a teaser, you can start with your arms here at your sides, palms up or down, or up above your head, whatever works for you. I'll start here and then go to the other. But my legs are together, <clears throat> breath is vital, right? It's important to get where you're going. So you're gonna start to draw the arms down and lift your head up. And as soon as I see my feet, I'm gonna scoop the abdominals and just come on up into my teaser. Breathe in here and breathe down. All about timing and control for sure. Coming up, exhale, exhale, exhale. Backing down and then coming up. Bring your arms up a little higher. Try to keep my knee. Circle, two, three, reverse, two, three, and a rolling back exercise called seal. Guide the hands inside my knees, look like this, right? And then grabbing the outside of the heels. And then clap three times here, one, two, three, roll back, clap again. Come up, clap, clap, clap. Head stays off the mat as you roll back. From here, let's roll onto the stomach. Okay, so grasshopper, right? So stack one hand on top of the other, bring your forehead down. Lift the legs up off the mat and just clap the heels together. Breathe in for several and out for several. So lift your head and arms up, keep your head connected to your hands. And one more deep breath. Come down, bend your knees and just rock them a little back and forth from side to side. And then propping yourself up onto your elbows. Take one hand around the fist of the other. Bring your knees under your hips. This is an exercise that I call arrowhead. We're just gonna do three reps of each. Extend a leg out behind you, but try not to turn that hip out. Bring the leg across, and tap the toes to the floor opposite your body. Come up into a point. Inhale, tap away and up. Inhale. One more. Bring that knee down, extend the other leg out, go across the midline. Exhale, up. and then bring both knees back down again. And the exercise is just three cat cows. And we're gonna finish with a different version of push-ups. So come back out into your plank position. You'll still do 10, but five with the one leg lifted up. You choose, here we go. Inhale, exhale. And switch legs, staying in motion. You can always choose to hold plank at the end of a class or a session if push-ups are unavailable to you, right? Once you're in plank, just lower, lift through the heels a few times. And then let's hike the hips, walk the feet all the way in towards your hands. And just pick your hands up off the mat and stay bent forward here. And one breath to stand up. Arms come out to the sides here and up over your head. Exhale to drop them down. One more big breath straight in. Palms come together. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Thank you again for joining me in this session. Be well.